Hi you guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing Jonas, Fern, and Ivy's favorite enrichment toys to play with inside when the weather outside is snowing, raining, windy, a little bit cold, or basically anything other than completely sunny and gorgeous. <laughs> they each have their favorite thing, and they also each have their favorite toy that they are really good at. So Jonas has his own, Fern has her own, and Ivy has her own. And I'm gonna walk you through each one, what they are, and how they like to use them. Jonas is clearly ready for the part where I show you which treats we use. We usually only use one ingredient treats with the pugs, so this dehydrated beef liver is the most common thing that I give these guys for treats. This massive, gigantic bag by Chew Masters is my absolute favorite. I've been ordering it on Amazon for so long. It's the biggest bulk bag of beef liver chews, one ingredient beef liver chews that I've ever found. And recently, for Christmas, I think, one of our most hilarious and amazing patrons, Jesse and I love him so much. We talk about them all the time. His name is Landon or Herman Rabkin. He sent us three of these. So we are so stocked up. This is actually like, we're halfway through our second bag because we use a lot, <laughs> a lot of these throughout the day. But uh, he sent us three of these with the most hilarious note that I just have to read to you. Where did I put it? Oh, Jonas. So <laughs> from Landon. The almighty Daddy Bezos knows if you've been bad or good, and he can see when people don't pick up their dog's poop. He kind of gets off on it, if we're being honest. Don't kink shame him. From Landon. <laughs> so this is Landon's humor, and he just makes Jesse and I laugh in like comments, in basically in our DMs, everywhere on the internet. He is making us laugh every single day. So Landon, thank you so much for sending us these. We are going to be making good use of them today. So the liver bites that are in here are actually really, really big. And as you guys know, Jonas needs everything cut up really, really small so that he doesn't choke. So we usually sit down with these on a cutting board and just take some time to prep them and cut them into really itty bitty tiny little pieces. Jesse's done this the last few times and I can't thank him enough for it. It's so helpful. It takes a little bit of time, but we put them in this really adorable little treat jar. Tiny itty bitty little pieces. These are really easy to scatter and to fill the toys I'm gonna to be showing you today with. So it's a lot easier to do it this way than trying to break up the pieces individually on the spot. Yeah, they're a little excited. You guys excited? Yay. So we'll start with Jonas and his favorite toy that you guys might've seen before. We call it his topple toy. It's actually called a dog pyramid. Um, but it's basically like this this bottom heavy weighted uh it's a topple toy i call it a topple toy it topples because of the weight at the bottom and i can't tell the size in, or like what it looks like inside because you can't screw off the bottom but there's a little hole that you put treats in and it's probably sloped on the inside so when dogs paw at this it spills out a couple of treats at a time but then topples back up to its like regular standing position so this thing is actually so well worn as you can see jonas has been practicing with this thing for quite a number of years actually so he is seriously a pro at knowing how to do this he's actually developed his own technique for toppling this around it's very very cute we'll fill this thing up with some treats jonas is getting really excited here so we're going to fill this up we'll put it down and i'll show you how he uses it the other funny thing that happens is that fern and ivy are on standby for free treats when jonas does all the work <laughs> which you'll see okay are you ready Jonas here Jonas has back booties on, but not front booties on. And that's because we use his back booties for uh, grip and stability and his hind end. We keep his front paws naked and grip on the back feet. And that seems to be everything he needs to be able to play with this properly. So Jonas will play with this thing for hours and like bump it around the apartment everywhere. Sometimes if Jonas is playing with this out here and Jesse and I are in the office, we'll start to guess where it's stuck. We're like, oh, it's stuck behind the garbage can. Mm, that sounds like it's stuck at the fridge because he just like bats it around all over the apartment and it like bangs into everything. So this is just endless entertainment for him. And if we don't end up getting outside for a walk, we know this is at least giving him some mental stimulation. 
Jesse and I made a video about Jonas playing with this probably about two years ago. It wasn't me talking or teaching or explaining or sharing anything like that. It's just this really cute, I think it's like two or three minutes long, this really cute video with music of him batting this around in this same apartment building with really beautiful lighting. I think you even put like a flare effect on there. It's really, really cute. I'll leave the link for it in the description if you want to check it out. Fern, Fern's favorite toy is her snuffle mat. So snuffle mats are an extremely popular tool for dog owners everywhere. There are so many different kinds that you can get. This is just a basic one from Amazon that I got, but I love it. It's really, really simple. You can actually close it up like this uh, as tight as you want to like kind of give it different difficulty levels for like snuffling around in, but I usually just leave it flat on the floor. Fern is like such a little snuffle pig. She uses her nose so much whenever we walk her or go to the park. She is always smelling the flowers. Jessie and I came up with the catchphrase, be more like Fern, because she's just the sweetest little thing that way. So this is Fern's favorite toy and I am just gonna fill it up from our treat stash by dropping a whole bunch. Okay, well, I'm not done setting it up. I have to get it in between these little felt strips. Obviously, you know, Ivy and Jonas like this too, but Fern will be the last one to be snuffling around it when everyone else has given up. Okay, that's probably good. It's everyone but Fern right now. Fern, this is your toy. I used to have two of these, but I gifted one to Hamlet for his birthday, I think last year or a couple of years ago. There are also a lot of local crafters. Everywhere I've been, there's always like someone local who crafts snuffle mats out of like rubber mats with felt strips coming out of them. So there are makers that make these. You can probably find tons of them on Etsy. I think I said this before, but I got this one on Amazon. I'm gonna link to it in the description. There are lots on there, but they're just so cool. You can get them in tons of different colors. You can get them in tons of different like, this one's with like little pouches and Velcro and different like pockets that you can stuff things in and dogs just love them. I guess you can't really tell who's who anyway, so just... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So that's the second toy we have that keeps these guys busy on days that we can't really get them out for much exercise or at least much fresh air. Gives them some more mental stimulation, makes it so that they have to work for their treats instead of just getting handouts all the time. Okay. All right, so the third toy that we use, which is Ivy's favorite, is our interactive treat dispensing uh, dog puzzle. So, Ivy has to be the brightest of the bunch. I know I mostly talk about Jonas all the time, but Ivy is so smart. Her brain is so sharp. And so this being a little bit more of an advanced puzzle is perfect for her. And there's actually like a few different ways that she can use this, a few different compartments that she can search from. So there's these little red ones that open up on both sides. And then these compartments slide forward on each side for another little compartment there. And then right in the middle, there's these little white removable bones that you can put something in and put on top, which makes it really hard for them to move unless they kick this out first. This is actually a little bit too advanced for Ivy in that she gets discouraged and frustrated. So we don't want to do that. So we keep those out for her for now. And then I'm going to fill these up with a bunch of little treats. We'll put this down on the floor and she will show you just how smart she is. Sorry for Jonas's panting. He pants really loud when he gets excited and clearly he's very excited right now with all these treats. So we'll close those. Fill these ones up just a little bit, not too much.
Yeah. Okay. So we'll put this down for Ivy. I'll grab Jonas. <laughs> okay, Ivy. So Jesse first started using this toy when he actually was portioning out Ivy's food into it and feeding her dinner out of it. So I'm sure you guys have heard of slow feeders and like with mats and stuff like that, that just provide a little bit of enrichment and slow feeding, uh, like a slow feeding structure for dogs eating their food. So they're not eating so fast. It's better for their digestion. Feeding out of a enrichment toy like this kind of is the same thing. It's actually a little bit more, I would say it's probably a little bit better. It's a little bit more challenging. Ivy is not only smart as a whip, she's also highly, highly anxious. So having her have to use her brain to focus on doing something like this is actually really, really good for her anxiety, which is why it's the perfect toy for her as well. All right, so that's Jonas, Fern, and Ivy's favorite toys to play with indoors during the winter. I'm going to include links in the description below for this topple toy, that snuffle mat, the interactive dog puzzle toy, this adorable tree jar, and of course the one ingredient dehydrated liver bites that Landon sent us, which are our absolute favorite for stuff like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.